so today I'm going to be doing this female Beetlejuice makeup. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And this was a requested video, just so you know. So to start off, I mix it, mix it, mixed my normal foundation with a white cream uh, face paint. And painted my face, my ears, don't forget your ears, and my neck and any part of my neck that I thought I was going to paint on my costume because I didn't actually have one. Basically, any skin that is going to be exposed, you're going to be putting that there. Then I set everything with a translucent powder. If you have a white powder, that works too. Depends on what you have. Just go with what you got. Then I applied a little bit of eyeshadow primer because this will help your eyeshadows not crease and I'm going to be doing the blackest raccoon eyed smoky eye in the planet so I need no creasing here. And then I applied a black base. This was just my elf cream eyeliner that I love and I just applied this all over the lid keeping it in the lid as much as possible just going up to the crease but not past it and also doing this on my lower lash line. Once I put it on there, I blended it out, and then over top I added some black eyeshadow, concentrating mostly on where I put that black base, and then blending it out just to give it a little bit more of a diffuse look so it doesn't look like, bam, raccoon eyes. Then I took that same black uh, eyeshadow <laughs> and filled in my eyebrows. Now, for this, I would just go the same way that you normally do your brows. You can go a little bit more cartoony like I did, but again, it's completely up to you. Then I contoured with this green, um, this is actually just a green eyeshadow. And I kept it more on the dramatic side because I did want my face to look a little bit more hollowed, but because Beetlejuice also has a lot of green around the sides of his face. Granted, it's more like moss, not like green eyeshadow, but we're going with it. And then I also applied some of this down the bridge of my nose and right in the space between my eyebrows and that raccoon eye I got going on. And any place that I would want the contour to be a little bit deeper or anything to be a little more hollowed out, I applied a lot more of that green eyeshadow just to keep it a little bit darker. We're looking for depth and dimension here. And speaking of dimension, I applied a lighter green around the edges of that darker green just to make it look a little bit cooler. You know, why not? Already gone this far, why not? Then I also applied a little bit of that lighter green um, under my brow bone. Now for the lips, I applied a little bit of purple um, lipstick that really is just purple eyeshadow and Vaseline. But hey, work with what you got. And I applied this, keeping it mostly centered on the inner portion of my lips, and then the same, uh, use the same technique to get this green eye green eyeliner, what am I talking about, green lipstick, and just applied that on the outer portion of my lips, blending it into the purple a little bit, and also speckling it on the outside of my lip, just for that like gross scabby thing that he has. I wanted to keep this look kind of pretty, but beetle juicy, if that makes any sense. And then uh, I went and contoured anything that I felt like would be sticking out, and my hair, my bangs just don't agree with me. They, they're like, whatever. I don't care what you want. <laughs> and then I painted on my costume because I didn't have an actual costume, but I tried to keep it with the black and white classic Beetlejuice costume. Now, if you're gonna do this for a con, which, um, I was requested to do this because she was going to a con. I would suggest getting an actual costume, unless you're, you know, comfortable with walking around in body paint, then more power to you. I don't know why I look so grumpy in this video. Like, I wasn't mad or anything. <laughs> and then for the white part, um, in the middle, I just kind of outlined it, and then to add a little bit more dimension, I applied a little bit of brown eyeshadow around just to give it kind of like a shadow look. But this is it. Oh yeah, and I applied some green body paint to my hair. Gotta love green body paint. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and let me know what you think that I should do next. I 
love a challenge. See you guys next time. Bye.